about you, Liz? Liz well, ma'am. Very well. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I used to have quality time with my family. Yeah. I know that uh, this week is uh, yeah, tiring for you and for me. And um, we could, uh, we cannot uh, avoid those steps that we need to do. So uh, we don't have a choice. We just need to continue. So as we continue to our uh, discussion, um, let us uh, proceed to the discussion. Yeah. Future perfect and future progressive. So, um, who wants to read the first slide? Anyone who wants to read? Guys, do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, there's no uh, volunteer, so I call a name. Um, Liz, may you read yes, the first slide? Number one, Re will have completed her project. Okay, it seems like Liz have a problem to her uh, microphone. So, Ed, may you continue? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. No, number one, Reeve will have completed her project before 7 p.m. Before my 21st birthday, I will not have drunk alcohol. Will you have arrived by 10 p.m.? Okay, thank you, Miss Ed. Um, uh, my dear students, uh, those are the sentences under future perfect. So, what have you noticed from the sentences? What did you do, uh, What did you observe? And what are the common words you saw? Reyes, ma'am. Oh yes, Miss Reyes, you may proceed. Ma'am, I noticed that all of the sentences have a past participle verb. Yeah, very good. So, uh, how about the others? How about you, Paula? What did you notice? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I observed that before the past participle of the verb, there is a word with uh, plus have. Oh, it's uh, with plus have, Anna. So, Oh, we plus have to. Uh, okay. All your answers are correct. Uh, the given sentences are in the future perfect tense. So let's have the first example. As you can see in the first and also the second example, there is only one subject, which is Rave and I. Beside the subject, you will see the will plus have plus past participle. And in the last example, uh, uh, that example is different. Because it is a question. So the form will start with the will plus subject plus have plus the past participle. So to further elaborate uh, this topic, let's move to its formula. Guys, do you see the slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So uh, the future perfect uh, tense has a pattern of subject plus will plus have plus past participle. Um, remember that the past parti participle is the past tense. So you should use the third form of the verb if the verb is in irregular form. So another is that the number of the subject um, does not affect the formula. It can be a singular or it can be a plural. So, let's move to the timeline. Guys, do you see the timeline? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, the uh, future perfect is a verb tense used for actions that will be completed before some other point in the future. 
So, let's go back to the first example. For instance, I am Ray. I said that sentence right now. Then there would be a duration period until the specific time of completion, which is 7 p.m. That period that I mentioned between the now and the 7 p.m. is the future perfect tense. Guys, uh, do you see the picture? It's between the now and the some other time in the future. It happens between now and some other time in the future. Uh, is, is that clear? Or do I need yes, to... Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's proceed to future progressive. So who wants to read this slide? Any yes, volunteer? Ma Sgera, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Sgera. Okay. Number one, Reeve will be completing her project from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Two, at 3.30 p.m., I will be going to a meeting. Number three, will you be staying in the cottage? Okay, so just the same question I have uh, asked earlier in the future present. What have you noticed in the sentences? And one. Okay. Let's get up. Okay. As I read the sentences, I noticed that the pattern is subject plus will be plus present participle, which is root verb plus ing. Uh, nice answer, Anna. Um, the future progressive has a formula of subject plus will be plus present participle, which is root verb plus ing. Who wants to give another example? Enriquez, ma'am. Yes, Miss Enriquez. Another example is, I will be writing an editorial on Monday. Okay, very good, Anna. Let us have another timeline for future progressing. So, the timeline, uh, oh wait. So, here's the timeline. Future progressive tense is also known as future continuous. So the word continuous means that the action just happens, but it is happening and in progress. This verb tense indicates that something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. So for you to understand it more, let's have Paula's example. So I will be reading this again. I will be writing an editorial on Monday. So the sentence is happening after now. It is ongoing, which means that the subject is continually doing it and for an expected time is that for an expected time. Is that clear? Or do I need to have another uh, example? It's clear, Everything's ma clear, ma'am. Okay, if everything is clear, here's your activity. Make one sentence for future perfect and make another sentence, make another make uh, another one sentence for future progressing. I'm giving you uh, three minutes to finish this activity.
Okay, last one minute. Okay, time is up. So, who wants to present first? I'm Reyes. Okay, Reyes, you may proceed. Um, for, for future perfect, um, my sentence is, I will have written my lectures before 2 p.m. And for future progressive maria will be joining the google meet before 9 p.m all right so who wants to be the second presenter paula yes, ma okay. yes, so you may proceed here are uh, my uh examples first she will have taken medicine before she sleeps and Anna and Jamie will be buy will be buying their school supplies before the end of May. Okay, last one, please. Yes, ma'am. This num first, Joanne will have cooked before her husband arrives. The next one is Dana will be taking her first dental care tomorrow. All right. Thank you for your participation, class. Um, that's all for today. Um, goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.